This week we discuss the 1995 Damon Wayans movie, Major Pain. I'm Chad. And I'm Matt. You're listening to episode 58 of We Used to Talk About This at Work. All right, Matt, we are back, man, and it's... I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, I've been drinking water all day, keeping it pure. It's getting hot out there. And you know what? My physical health is great. My mental health is trash, but my physical health is immaculate right now. That's why we always recommend therapists. Get that mental health right. (laughs) Now, And I'm the opposite of you. My mental health is spectacular. My physical health, it needs some work. If only we get like Wonder Twins activate and just like, merge into one we we would be a functioning human we'll be unstoppable that is true but speaking of unstoppable we have two guests that i i I could say um hit a little close to home for you matt a little bit a little bit um one of our day ones our day one listeners uh i like to welcome to the show leslie and ira who are leslie and ira don't do that don't do that they are, they've been listening since day one of this podcast. They've been there to uh, give us uh, critiques and advice on podcasts. What, what is this bit we're doing? Just just tell the people who they are. I thought we were going to keep going. I know we were going to stop right here. All right, let's go back. No, I mean, I, I got really annoyed. Like, just, 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 just <laughs> say who they are. All right, let's go back. No, no, this is staying in. Just say who they are. My parents. Welcome, parents. Oh, yay. <laughs> so uh, we've got Leslie. Say, please say hello, Leslie, so the people know hello. your voice. And we've got Ira. Hello. And so uh, I'd like to welcome you on the show. Um, good um, talking to you. It's been a minute since I've talked to you, too. And I would like to ask, why aren't you guys sponsors of our podcast? This is something we click out. <laughs> how can we sponsor? Yeah, how do we show? sponsor? So what we're trying to say is we're extorting you for money. Okay. All right. We'll see what we can do. Talk after. Well, that's that's show. that's been since like the age of five or six. <laughs> that's funny. But that that was un- unintentional extortion. Now it's on purpose. Now. Right. <laughs> Why do you think that we uh, welcome you onto the show? This is a business pitch. Yes. Oh, we didn't know that. Okay, get to work. <laughs> we got to log off. Get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, enough goofing around. So, how you guys been? How are the grandkids? Oh, the grandkids are wonderful. We love them so much. My little pumpkins. That's what I call them. All three of them. And My- why do you? How you get? Why you call them pumpkins? Uh, well, it's a, it's a little story. Uh, my uncle. Uh, used to call each one of the grandkids used to have a name from pumpkin head watermelon <laughs> head he i had a head everybody had some kind of head so when i had the grandkids i all called them pumpkin but i didn't call them pumpkin heads i just called them pumpkin <laughs> so that's what stuck with them pumpkins was this one of your uh the uncles you liked or you didn't like the uncles that i did like He's, that's oh, my okay. um that's the one that's like my father you know the ones that we double cousins with okay got you so i've got a question so matt obviously is here just about every week and laura's been on the show your daughter right and she mentioned something on her episode um she said that you know you like to take the kids to the pumpkin patch and do all these fun little cute little christmas activities but you didn't do any of that with, with Matt and company. You're like, what, what's up with that? That's because I was too busy. I didn't have time to do all that stuff. I had to work for a living. And I'm, I'm speaking for Laura, right? Because, you know, I like to think of Laura as a sister. It, 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 am I older than her or is she older than me? What, what's going on here? Uh, she's now you she, you older than her. Yeah, yeah. See, I, I like to think of her as a little sister. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm just trying to look out for her. Like I said, I was <laughs> a working mother now that my grandmother... I have time to do that for the grandbabies. I didn't have time that for the kids. And I'm just going to simply say, that never occurred to me. That's that's a whole nother side <laughs> of the world that I, you know, I, I'm married into richness. Oh, <laughs> Lord, here we go. <laughs> he, he 
guess he didn't know nothing about that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Laura, if you're listening, you know, hey, I asked the question, all right? <laughs> so do um, you got anything special planned for um, the grandkids that are stateside uh, for the upcoming holiday? Yes, I already talked to her. We're going to do some games in the backyard. She, she's want to know why we got to play games because they're coming over. We got to do something. We can't just sit I, in there. I'm, I'm, that look you got is the look I got, too. I always thought like coming over was the game. No, no, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta play some games. We got to figure out what we're gonna do. It's a plan. We got a plan for the grandbaby. They can't just sit out and do nothing. Matthew. Yes. Do you hear what I'm putting up with? Oh, I understand. I mean, you, you I mean, but I get up. it though, because <laughs> you need to hurry need up and get back because I don't need a plan. I just need to like hang out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I totally agree, but I understand like kids. I mean, we can hang out, chill, do whatever, play cars, whatever. Kids ain't gonna do that unless they have a group of each other. So you gotta have certain activities. I just throw throw a, a little inflatable pool outside. They'd be fine. So See, they put on the sprinklers now. <laughs> uh, so now we gotta have some baseball, some t-ball, some can't even corn have that now. We got a neighbor behind us now. You gotta yeah. Fix. So yeah, we used to go and play in that. Nah, just give them, just give them their iPads and everything. No, they be fine. no, no, no. We're not gonna do any iPads this year. We Look, man, she's got to step it up. All right, each visit has to be better than the next, man. Yeah, all that's right. True. That's true. Don't get jealous, but get jealous. No, we need we need MJ to get back. Mm -hmm. Plus, we need Matthew to get back. You know, Matthew's always the life of the party. <laughs> you we don't say. Matthew you saying that on national TV? Oh, you in no. trouble? <laughs> <laughs> but you, might, you might want to edit that one out because that's gonna cause a that's gonna cause a civil war. <laughs> nah, nah. It, it, anybody who knows me knows what time it is, so it, it's fine. Everybody already knows. You know, our pre-show, you had a, a, a interesting question about legalization of marijuana. Yes. And so can you please repeat that question? Yeah, I can. So I generally think that America is behind other countries in its social stance. And I just wondered if America is ahead of the curve in legalizing marijuana. I'm not sure there are any other countries that have it. Well, I would argue that I wouldn't say they're ahead. I would say that they're like, for once, we're not behind because like, and uh, isn't it is it illegal in amps? It is legal oh, yeah, in yeah, Amsterdam. Okay. Yeah, so that's, that's okay, like the only country, but every, almost everything is legal there. Well, so <laughs> all right, I will say that as far as marijuana, they the U.S. is catching. They're in the middle. They are not behind to where there are some places where marijuana is illegal. Like for example, Japan, uh, marijuana is illegal, so they're ahead in that aspect. But then there's a lot of countries in Europe besides uh, like Amsterdam, there's other places over there where marijuana has been legal for years, way before okay. any, any of the states left that. So as far as that, it's, I want to say they're catching up and they're not in last place anymore as okay. far as marijuana. So it's legal I, I, I in Canada, that. Mexico, South America, Uruguay, Georgia, not the Put state, but the country. I'm on, Google? I am Googling, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I had no idea. And then medical use, the list is even larger. Okay. I mean, it's a good question. Like, it's not really something I really think about. Um, according to this list, don't even think about even even looking at some uh, marijuana in, like, the Middle East. <laughs> right, and some people, like, yeah. I would say, in some countries, it's like um, they treat marijuana like it's a kilo of heroin or something like that. Well, like the uh, the basketball player that's locked up in Russia right now. Yes, that uh, it was uh, the, uh, the women's basketball player, right? Right. Bri Bri the, Brittany uh, Griner. Oh, okay. That just shows you how out of touch I am. You can actually, well, I guess if it's legal in a state, then you could buy a vape cartridge and put it in there. Right. Hmm. Right. That's why they always tell you, you need to know, well, they tell us, when I say us, I mean the military, whenever we go somewhere, you need to know the laws of the country you go to. 
So just because it's legal somewhere where you're coming from, when you go somewhere else, rules are completely different. Countries are very strict in other places. So you need to know the laws of place where you're going to. Right. They really need to reinforce that when civilians travel. Like, you know how many Americans get in trouble when they go to Dubai? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, any, like especially like Singapore. Singapore is known for the the minor thing you're getting fined for. Like, they call it, there's magnets and bumper stickers or whatever. You can get, Singapore is a fine country. When they say fine, that means anything you do, you can be fine. You can be fine for walking and chewing gums, walking and smoking. That's how it is like this. So, yeah, you need to know whatever country you're going to, whatever the rules are in that country, because the I didn't know that don't fly. No, especially if that, if that country don't have a status of forces agreement with the United States. Basically, that just means um, the United States already has an agreement with that country. So, if, for example, if Japan, say if I went out there, and did some crazy. Right. And I got a DUI or whatever. And I crashed. I killed somebody. The U.S. has status force agreement with Japan to where they can, you know, negotiate and finagle for me to get out. And they have a working partnership where we go to other countries where like Singapore and other places where the United States don't. You're up to that government to do whatever. And then you hope like the U.S. will be able to do some things um, because when I when was in Singapore, uh, some Marines got in a fight with some people in Singapore and there's no status of forces agreement. Long story short, he got caned for that what he did. Really? So, yeah, you need you got to learn <laughs> your uh, rules for whatever country you're going to. Ain't yeah. getting off the ship. <laughs> you got no. You got to. You just can't be wilding out there. <laughs> just, just, just keep it together. Um, Matt, have you been watching anything as of late? Yes, I've been watching some things. Um. I was able to catch the new She-Hulk trailer. Have you seen it? Yes, I have. And what did you think she- about it? She-Hulk. So is um. So you guys are are you guys familiar with the Hulk, right? The oh, Incredible yeah. Hulk. So uh-huh. there, he has a cousin that right. uh, spent a little bit too much time around him, and she got ex- you know got a little touch of the uh, the gamma radiation, and so she can turn into a Hulk as well. But since she's a lady, it's She-Hulk. She-Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> So um, yeah, so now that they yeah. got the new, they're gonna they dropped the trailer <laughs> for the new TV show, and uh, wait, Chad. So what'd you think about it? The story looks like it could be interesting. Um, like, like I said, we touched on this like a few weeks ago. I'm really like so the comic book it it has like a tone of like Ally McBeal where it's like yeah we're doing law cases and stuff, and it's like a lot of like office comedy type stuff but also like sometimes we got to go to court and so i'm hoping mm-hmm. it has like a similar vibe and what she's gonna turn into the hulk during the uh court yeah i want my i want my my person <laughs> released right now <laughs> <laughs> more or less it's, it's kind of that's like that's kind of like also part of the joke where it's like yeah like she gets kind of flustered and then she hulks out but she still got to uh, finish the trial uh, it's, it's like at least gonna, in the comics, it's more of a comedy. I'm gonna say because that's only gonna happen like one time, and then you can't come to court no more. So you <laughs> have like one 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 case. <laughs> but like she still she still has her mind and stuff, so it's not like she's the Hulk Hulk. So like she can still think and talk and stuff. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, because it's still it's a superhero world. So you oh, know. okay, that's right. The okay. World. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So everybody's okay. So yeah. So. I'm hoping the show's all right. Now, the CGI on her looks terrible, and I'm hoping that it's just an early, like, it's, it's early. Like, by the time we get the finish, by the time the episode, the, the show airs, they would have cleaned up the um, the effects. Well, that's where I came. That's where I came to talk about it, because, you know, everybody shit on the CGI. And then I read an article today where uh, they went back into the studio to fix it. And... Um, and it got me thinking of the whole ugly Sonic thing to where people uh, uh, got upset about that. They ended up changing it. So from um, they haven't showed the new trailer yet, but they said that from the people who did see it, they said it looked so much better after the internet complained about it. Uh, okay. okay. Um, the only other thing I watched is um, Spy Family on Netflix. Um, it's a cartoon where you have a spy 
um, he's a spy and then he needs to assassinate a guy, but then the guy um, is reclusive. He's a bad guy. And the only way they can get him is if he uh, infiltrates this uh, high end Harvard like elementary school. But in order for the spy to get into this elementary school, he has to have a kid and, and a family. So then he goes, adopts this girl where she uh, has telekinesis. She can read people's minds. So then later on, he needs to find a wife and X, Y, Z happens. He finds a wife, but it turns out she's an assassin. But the only thing is none of them know, like the family doesn't know he's a spy. They don't know the girl, the little girl is telekinesis and nobody knows that she's an assassin. That's they all cool. think they have regular jobs. Spy family on Netflix. Spy family. That sounds like a lot. Well, it's good. It's real good. I, yeah, I enjoy it. Funny. The only downside is that it's uh it drops weekly, and I'm not used to that, so I have to catch up every week. I mean, in all honesty, like that's that's a whole other conversation we can have for another day. Right. So, what would you guys do if you checked your bank account and you had randomly three hundred and sixty three thousand dollars in your account? What would you do? I'm not trying to go to jail, but I'm sure watching it for about 30 days and 31 is out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie? Um, I'm probably going to check with the bank because I don't want to go to jail either. Same. Like, I would love to spend that money, right. but like... We, 31 we, days. Yeah. You catch it 31 and you good. 32 <laughs> is mine. <laughs> we, we all know how this story ends. Like, the per, you know, you spend that money and then the police are like, all right, so jail now or jail now? Right. So basically, this town in Yamaguchi, Japan, it was their COVID relief money. So the government was going to give this town COVID relief money around three hundred sixty three thousand dollars. But it was it was supposed to be broken down between like around seven hundred fifty dollars per person. Oh, cool. But with the error, the first person on the list, they dropped all the money into his account. <laughs> COVID relief. Sign me up. <laughs> so the this, this 24 year old uh show to Tagach, Tagachi, he's up uh, unemployed and everything so of course uh he took that money and ran <laughs> uh he uh quickly deposited that money into other bank accounts and everything so when when the news folks broke and they found it he was like oh no i uh i spent that on online gambling i ain't got no more money left i apologize but then as more it came out he lied. He did spend some of it, but not. Nah, he just moved it to different bank accounts so he could keep it. So, he, uh, but even ahead. if he spent it on online gambling, he would still be liable for the money. Well, I was gonna say, oh, no, so he's like, when yeah, he he's, said it's online gambling, and they go, "Oh, okay, that's okay. Don't worry about it." But no, no, no. They, he's they were got it. He's got it. They want it back. No, no, they wanted it back before, but he was like, "I ain't got it. Uh, I spent it, but I can, you know, set me up on a payment plan type of thing." <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm I'm liking the way he's thinking. But then, you know, <laughs> the, the government and everybody got involved, and it turns out he was lying. He spent some of it in online gambling, but no, he just moved it to multiple bank accounts, and um, they were able to get 90% of it back. So can I so, ask a question? Uh, the, mm -hmm. So had he, did they lock him up? That part doesn't say if he's locked up or not right now. Because I was just wondering, would they have not locked? Would they have not locked him up if he'd spent it on online gambling? No, nah, he's gonna be. He's no, nah, he's gonna be arrested. No, nah, because no, he knew okay. that was. I just yeah. curious, like, like why he decided that he would say that, and that would be okay. Because I mean, I guess it's easier if I have three hundred fifty thousand <laughs> tucked away, and I'm like, you put me on a hundred dollars a month payment plan, I could work with that. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, he should just took the money and just fake this down. Right. Or yeah, left, did something. Yeah. I mean, but also if you think about three hundred fifty thousand dollars ain't a lot to live off of. That's true. That's true. I mean, unless you, you know, multiply it by online gambling. <laughs> I mean, he may he may he thought he was about to double it up and then he's gonna get out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just flip this, all right. Like a yeah, like a like a short loan. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I, I took that three fifty, I made it into one point two. Here, take it three fifty back. Sorry about right. that. Right. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. That would have worked then if you would have been able to flip it like that, but nah. Uh but yeah, that's all I, yeah, that's all I got. That's all right. wild. But 
Chad, what have you been in watching this week? So um, let me think. It was Wednesday night. You know, I'm just out here existing. And I get a text message from my brother-in-law, um, John. And he's like, hey, man, um, been a minute. Let's hang out. And I'm like, "Okay, that's cool, because it's like I've known the dude almost 10 years now. And I can count on one hand how many times like just me and him have hung out, you know. And so um, he was like, hey, you know, I was hoping to check out Top Gun, too. And would you be interested in going with me? And I was like, yeah, let's do that. That sounds fun. He's like, bet. I'm buying tickets for the 9.30 p.m. show on Thursday. And I'm like, what? Now, I am what you call an early bird. You know, I I start my work day at 6 a.m. You know, um, I, I live with a human rooster that, you know, gets up around, you know, four, between four and, and, and 5.30, you know? So like, I got early mornings. And this man talking about he wants to see a movie at 930 and we probably not going to get out this movie there till like midnight. And I'm like, <sighs> OK, just just say just say you old man and you want you don't you want that early bird special. Hey, if I could get that discount, if I could get a discount on, on movie tickets, I would go for it. So wait, and, did you go to did you go to a 930 showing? Yeah, I went to it. <laughs> see, <laughs> wait, <laughs> he paid for everything, right? Or did you have to pay him? Well, he paid for the movie, and then I bought snacks. Oh, okay. You got a, uh, you got a free date. That's nice. You Not really. Wrong with that. Not really. You, you have. I don't know what it's like in in Japan, but movie snack prices in America are ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's cheaper. It's, it's cheaper to buy the tickets. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So um, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know those those problems. <laughs> so background on me: I've seen the original Top Gun, Top Gun one time, and it was like twenty years ago, and I thought it was okay. Like I felt like it was too long, and so like we're going in and we're talking, and he's like, "Oh yeah, man! Like I've literally seen Top Gun like fifty times. Like it is like my one of my top ten favorite movies." I was like, "Oh." okay i didn't know i didn't know that was a thing for people but okay cool so like we're sitting there like we get in early and we're just you know chit-chatting and talking about life and stuff and i'm you know i'm looking around at the people that's coming in it's like a dude coming in with a fucking top gun t-shirt and somebody's like oh that top gun t-shirt yeah and it, it gave me the vibe of like if you go see a comic book movie like opening night like those kind of nerds like they were like fucking <laughs> navy top gun uh fucking fighter pilot nerds in there and i was like uh-huh. i respect this i respect this because like during the movie like people was like like they, they were like clapping when tom cruise came on screen and like certain people said certain lines that wasn't from the original movie and the people was just losing their mind i was like oh okay i i appreciate everything that's happening here so um as for the movie I would say I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like, it's been a long time since I've been to a movie that I could say you will fully appreciate this in a movie theater. And I'm not talking about the audience. I'm talking about, like, the flight sequences. Like, every time they are in a plane, I held my breath. Like, the sequences are absolutely amazing. And seeing them on the big screen, like, not in your house where you got all the distractions of, like, your phone or your family, or like, you know, something shiny in the corner. Like, no, you need to see this movie in a movie theater. It is amazing. Like, you know, it's Tom Cruise. You know he's not going to die. But those sequences, you're just like, I think this is it for you, Tom. Like, like <laughs> they're so the sequences are so gripping. Like, so I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. And then coming out the movie theater, my brother-in-law, he was like, hmm. Nah, dog, that wasn't the one for me. And I was like, what? And um, <laughs> so, like I said, I've seen Top Gun one one time. He's seen it like 50. And he's like, they essentially mirrored the original movie. A lot of like a lot of the things in the movie, they were just callbacks to the original movie. But since I wasn't familiar with that, I just took it for what it was. If that makes sense, what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. No, it makes sense. It gives me it gives me a feeling of uh coming to America too, where majority yeah. of it was just based off 
you just you're singing the hits from the first one right and there's not no real plot of the second one right so i don't know if, people like people i've only like you i've i seen top gun one time and i seen it like maybe like six months ago for the first time six seven months ago okay it was all right i mean right. Ain't nothing, it ain't nothing to, to be shouting about but people at work they love it they, they was like they this is this is it. why they this is why i joined the navy <laughs> they even had uh they had a. Uh, uh movie in the park type of thing for the beige where they showed the first one and they had like popcorn they had uh volleyball tournaments and everything and i was like (laughs) oh yeah yeah yeah. so instead of volleyball in this one they play beach football and i'm like (laughs) okay but everybody out oily and they got abs on top of abs and i'm like tom cruise you're like almost 60 you shouldn't be looking this good my boy right so i mean p People love uh, Top Gun, so they, they the same people that rock with a new Superman, Batman, Spider Man. They they have they they have their fans for this. Um, let me see. Let me see how old he is. That's probably a yeah, ab dub. You got a ab dub. Tom Cruise is t- um, Tom Cruise is currently fifty nine. He will turn sixty in July. So, but also you got to remember this movie was delayed. This movie was supposed to come out in two thousand nineteen. But no, oh, do like, y'all guys plan on seeing it? I do. <laughs> I want to see Tom Cruise's abs. I see Tom Cruise. <laughs> Tom Cruise is your guy. Yeah, he's my guy. He's my guy. Oh, uh, and they found they found some ridiculous ways to get him to run in this movie too. I so. know you got love when he runs. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I only thing I say is like just don't rewatch Top Gun one before you see it. But it's a okay. good time. Okay. okay um also i caught the first two episodes of obi-wan is anybody a star wars fan in here Obi-Wan. Mm-hmm. We liked Obi-Wan. Oh, okay you you guys watched it yeah we haven't watched it but we saw the previews didn't we? okay did you watch it matt no i'm, I'm still i still got to finish up the last two the, the last two movies after rogue one and then i can start watching uh mandalorian and the book of bubba fett so yeah, i watched mandalorian yeah so you don't waiting, really waiting for it to come back. You don't really need any of that. So for Obi Wan, you need to see the first three movies, and you will kind of need to know a few things that happens in the cartoons. Like uh, there's these group of people called. When you say cartoons, you're talking about Attack of the Clones, Clone Wars, and Rebels. I mean Clone Wars. Yeah. 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 Okay. So there's this group of so you know like the um, the empire they they attacked the the um, the little Jedi temple right and some mm-hmm. of the Jedi's were captured and they were turned into this group called Inquisitors and they are like Jedi hunters so that's what the uh, Obi Wan shows about like some Inquisitors are looking for him and he has to come out of hiding to do something and they're after him. When does when does this take place? This takes place ten years before A New Hope, episode four. Okay, okay, okay. So, so you like it so far? So the first two episodes are really good. Um, there are times when you forget it's a TV show because you know, TV shows you got to do certain things to save money on that budget if you get what I'm saying. Right, right. And so, like you know, in a Star Hello. Wars. <laughs> exactly exactly right, so right. like you know in a star wars movie they go into like five six seven planets and stuff and in obi-wan we go to like two <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. most of it's desert but you know we, we you know <laughs> <laughs> but uh but no it's good like it's, it's very well acted it's got a really cool new character i think her name's like ria araya it's a uh it's a black lady she's an inquisitor and um i will say this i i, I like her character but it's getting real close to like her being like a sassy black woman trope and that mm-hmm. like she's like super insubordinate and she's like so like gun ho or just like doing stuff her way and so i'm like it's a it's a thin line we gotta walk with characters of color and that kind of stuff right right so this week we discuss major pain
fighting's no longer done in the battlefields, Payne. Killing is my business, and business is good. Now all the blood is shed in the halls of Congress. You gotta be somebody needs some killing. There's no one left. You killed them all. Major Benson Winifred Payne needs a job. Major Payne reporting for duty, sir. Why? But this isn't what he had in mind. Hey, ho, yes, sir! What's your name, girly mouth? <laughs> I have eight weeks to what turn you your gaggle of maggots hey, into a well a blank of death hey, unit! A recently discharged major finds himself commanding a group of mismatched cadets. Leslie, what did you think of Major Payne? I loved it. I think it's so funny. I think he's great. I love everything about the movie. I love, I love the way he treated the kids. Now, I don't know if he could get away with the things he's done to the kids today, but I love the, uh, the way he talked to them. I love the way he <laughs> talked. <laughs> yeah, I love the way he laughed. I love the way he uh, got them to become a team. Okay. Um, Ira, what did you think of this movie? I think it's tremendous. I, mean, I, I laughed at it the first time I saw it. I laughed at it every time I've seen it. And I thought about it a couple of days ago. It's a deeper movie than just a comedy. What do you because mean by he, that? Because he comes in to a dysfunctional group of kids and in his own quirky way, he takes that group of misfits and he turns them into, he, he shines them up and turns them into a well-oiled machine up to the very last scene where you see one more misfit and his dog show up. And he starts right back with the same basic thing to get him into compliance with the rest of them. So I mm-hmm. thought it was a great movie. It's, 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 it's initially funny. And like I said, up till a couple of days ago, I, that's all I ever considered it to be until I started thinking about what he actually did and, and all of the things that went on, all the subtle things that went on being in the movie that were more about, right, and him, him taking a, a group of kids and turning them into young men. I appreciate you putting your critic hat on there, Ira. <laughs> <laughs> it just, uh... just occurred to me. <laughs> Shag, you I know you've only seen this once before, so I'll let you go. I've seen this more than once. Oh, okay. I mean, but no. it's still funny. So um, no, I so this is something that I saw a few times when I was a kid. Like it wasn't something like heavy rotation, but like the main thing I remember when I uh before I, I watched it this time was like that scene where they're trying to get him in trouble. <clears throat> so they have the kid dress up in the dress. And like they, yeah, they go in the room to try and get the picture, and he like sleeps with his eyes open. Like that's like the only thing I remembered before I came back to it this go round. Um, a lot of it I just don't remember. Like I didn't remember that sequence at the beginning where he was on a mission and like he's been like hardcore even then, and like <laughs> him trying to join the police force because he's like I, I need to be somewhere where I can be abusive. <laughs> classics but also like i didn't realize this movie was pg-13 like even back then and it's like movies like this where it's like the tough like the the heartened person comes and teaches a group of kids but also along the way they learn something themselves usually that's rated pg because you want like kids to see it like my question genuinely is who is this movie for like you would think that this would be a kid's movie, but a lot of the kids that this is aimed towards can't see it. No, it's probably for teenagers and, and young adults. Yeah. Would they want to see this, though? Like, would they want to see this kind of movie? Like, I'm thinking, like, other movies from our youth with a similar premise, but aren't as, like, um, hard and, uh, like, such with such a hard edge. Well, that, I think, yeah, yeah. see, with the, the probably what you're missing is the in living color tie that Damon Wayans had at that time. So if you were watching in living color, you're going to watch Damon Wayans in this movie. That's and fair. Living, and in living cover really wasn't for kids. So that's the, that's, I think that's the, 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 
the group of people that he said that to. And you know what? If I'm watching the limited cover, I'm going to watch Damon Wayans in, in Major Pain. This, this, that, that, his character really did feel like a character that he would play, he would have played on Major, on, on In Living Color. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that's the, that's the, the group of people that he, 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 he's, he, he shot it for. And it just happened to come in as PG 13. But if you, if you're an In Living, in, in, an In Living Color fan, you're going to watch the movie. That makes sense. Yeah. Matt, what did you think on your revisit of this movie? Um, so as my parents both said, this is their favorite movie. So I've seen <laughs> this movie countless times. I can repeat it word for word, line for line. I've seen this so many times. I so now, my friend, <laughs> right? Um, uh, so now. I love this movie. Then watching it again, um, the the all the stuff that I remember still hitting like it's supposed to. Now let me put my movie reviewer hat on. It's a paint by numbers movie. You have the hardened uh, major come in. Um, you have the love interest softens him. He um, he you know, brings them up. Of course, they're the ones who win the tournament. Also, uh, like the- right before the tournament, he has to make a decision. Mm-hmm. Do I do what I want to do at the beginning of this movie and abandon these kids or do I stay because I love them? Woo-hoo. Right. So, uh, so that that was a paint by numbers baby. type of movie. Right. So that was a paint by numbers thing. But overall, I still enjoyed it to this day. Still funny everything about it but the only thing that caught my attention this time is in the first after the he meets the general for the first time and he tells him that um and he's like well they was telling him they don't get rid of him he's like um somebody needs some killing one thing i did notice is the general's medals was messed up they're not in the proper order (laughs) really yes they're not in the proper order um you should send you should i don't know who you would send it to but you should send that to somebody now Right. So, but uh, now, question: Could they do this movie today? Yes. <laughs> yes, they could. I mean, they've the, they've done it in so many other different ways. Right. So basically, there's to me <clears throat> the only things that I think could not fly in today's thing would be the dress stuff. Right. The dress. Yeah. Stuff. Um. And I was teetering on. The whole deaf thing. Um, De- the whole which thing? Oh, deaf. The deaf guy. The at deaf the guy. Oh, oh, no, no, the no, 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 he called him a dummy and everything like that. See, yeah, you definitely can't do that. You definitely can't do that. You definitely cannot do that. So, so between that stuff, I think. Um, he could also it was weird because this movie takes place in current 95 right yeah yeah okay. ish but he he kept calling it Charlie Charlie is Vietnam no but like okay this is 95 but like he had a long career so he probably served in Vietnam no what I'm saying but like there's been other wars after that like well, that was a weird part for me but maybe you it know, stuck when with him but when you because you had Bosnia, he, you had you had all these other wars after that. But, but when he you kept referring he back to fighting, that one. He, but when he was fighting people, think about when he when he okay at the end towards the end of it when he sees himself with his wife and kid, it's an Asian person. So he's referring back to the Vietnam War. Like that, right. like that, that was probably like his first like tour, and that probably really had some effect on him well, that, so that he, was, he, that he was probably P- still yeah. is carrying that right that was as his ptsd was basically that war because everything kept going back to vietnam war and i'm like when did this take place but well, you know now you're probably right he probably too. keeps going back to that here's the other thing too because he was you know he kept referring back to that but that we we're looking at his memories we weren't looking at actual you know what i mean it's not like he just so when he retired or they retired him he hadn't been on a on a mission in a while. He just came from a mission. 
Well, we assume that, but if you think about it, if he's if he's referring back to the Vietnam War and Bubba and his little legs flopping, that would have been in the late sixties. Right, and that's that, why I think that like they're, they're taking like, poetic, they're taking some license there because he couldn't have been. Or because I'm thinking may, maybe it was maybe that's where because every time he had a quote unquote outburst when he reminisced, it was only he only reminisced about that Vietnam War stuff. Like right. he could have went back to the ones right there. So maybe it is. Maybe that was the most traumatic and all this other stuff. So whenever he does retell it, whenever he does get anxious or whatever, he always goes back to during that time of the war. Right. But the reality of it is, is that it's a movie because if he was in the Vietnam War and it was night and it was and it was 98 when this movie came out or 95, he'd have been what? 50 something? I mean, that I mean, would have so, been twenty years, though. So he could, he could have been in his forties. Like if he, right. like, um, if he would have initially fought, like in the He's later 18, part, in right. the later part of the Vietnam conflict, right. which would have been the seventies, and he was right. eighteen, and then a little over twenty years, he could have been in his mid forties. And I don't think he, I don't think you know. And, and you know what? I guess he could have been forty. In the movie, yeah, thirty-eight, forty. I mean, I guess he could have. And then okay. now, um, another thing that surprised me was a uh, tiger was Orlando Bloom, Orlando uh, Brown, Brown. I didn't I, know that. I was so I was so surprised to see him in yeah, there, and then it just am- immediately. Yeah, we looked to see if who he turned out to be. Oh, it just made me so sad seeing him so young and cute and talented. Right. Hmm. But I also think I wanted I wanted to add I wanted to give make sure we give Damon mm. Wayne his flowers on this because oh. when I started thinking about how good this was it got me reminiscing about like I know of in Living Color I've watched a Living Color during that time frame but I wasn't like a I was a kid I don't remember that stuff like that and it wasn't like it wasn't I wasn't watching it week to week to understand everything but like after that you know you have your blank man. You have um, what was, was uh, shame? shame? No, that no, was well, his brother. That, that, that was Keenan Ivory. Okay, yeah. that was yeah. Keenan. Uh, uh, what's the one where he played with him with Bruce Willis? Uh, uh, the, the Golden, the the Boy Scout. Yeah, the the last, last Boy, Boy Scout. Scout. Yeah. So and I, and and then also then which with like my son, my wife knows him as from my wife and kids. Right. So. I like to give him his flowers now and then how good he is and everything. So also you... he was in um Mo Money. <laughs> I love uh, Mo Money. Are we not going to give any love to Hillary from uh Oh yeah, from uh, she did really Fresh well. Yeah, Hillary did good. But uh, you know the one of the guys was his brother. One of the kids was his brother, the one that was dancing and rhyming and Oh Make no, that wasn't his brother. brother. That was his yeah. uh his cousin. That was his son, his cousin, yeah. His cousin. It was a yeah, I think it's Keenan's son, Damien. Yeah. Yeah. No, we didn't look to see if he did anything else besides that movie. No, he didn't. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. He's been in stuff. Uh, you pure D genius. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't be a menace while I drink your juice in the hood. Uh, he was in Malibu's Most Wanted. He was in Little Man. Of course, that's his family. Uh, right. Oh no. Okay. So same so same was, with Don't Men. Don't be a menace. Right. Right. So no. Okay. Yeah. He's just been <laughs> other stuff is just behind the scenes. Also, I forgot to men- talk about Damon Wayans. I forgot to in- mention Wayne Head. You remember Wayne Head? Oh, did they get a movie or just a that was just a, a character? It was just a cartoon for one season. <laughs> so oh, I don't. Wait, did I'm you say Wayne Head? I, I know. It looks yeah. Good. Okay, what was the one where he was just a head and hands, like a uh, Mister? That that was on In Living Color. That was um Detective. Okay. Parents. <laughs> okay, so so like what none did they did they not spend any of those characters off into movies like SNL? No, but they should have split off. Uh, Homie the clown. Homie the clown. Homie and, the clown would be funny. And only in the early '90s could they have did. Uh, was it Handicap Man? What was that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Man. That was the only time <laughs> they could have did that movie. They just spun them off, man. They still be rolling right now. People be picking them. Picking, be talking bad about them, but they be watching. 
What do you guys think the, the Rotten Tomato score for this movie is? Uh, what do I think the Rotten Tomatoes were for this? I love this. I mean, I, I, I really enjoy this movie, but I'm going to say 45%. Yeah, I'm going to go low, too, because they, they probably just don't get it. So what, what's, your, what's your number, Ira? I'm going to go 50 Right. Okay. Um, let's, let's reevaluate here. Do not go above thirty-five percent. Oh my! Oh my goodness! So much for rotten potatoes. <laughs> tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes, tomatoes, potatoes. So, uh, I, I go thir- 30, 35. thirty. I go thirty. Thirty. I'm gonna go twenty-seven. I'm gonna go thirty. Thirty-one. Wow. Percent. Mm. But uh, the audience score was sixty-eight. Mm, okay. I mean, because it's it's a funny movie. If you if you were going there to see Damon Wayans mm-hmm. in that time and even now, you know what to expect. You expected all of that funny stuff. Why That's would a, you be? And you wouldn't be disappointed. I mean, it's twenty some years later, and I'm still laughing at the same jokes. I still tell people, I know what you did to my friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I tell them that at work. I see what you did to my friends. Yeah. So, yeah, made me feel all funny. And then you want me to take your, you want me to take your mind, your, your, your man off that, that pain? <laughs> you know what? They know what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right. So for our trivia question for you all. Outside of three seasons on the television version of Lethal Weapon, Damon Wayans is famous for two other television shows, In Living Color and My Wife and Kids. Combined, how many seasons did the two shows air? Um, A, five, B, seven, C, 10, or D, 13? 10. I was going to say eight, so I'll say seven. Okay. The answer is My Wife and Kids aired for five seasons and In Living Color aired for five seasons. So the answer is 10. C. All right. All right. And I got, only- I got the numbers wrong. So I thought it was six and three. Mm, yeah. I mean, my, my thing is like, I would have said more for My Wife and Kids because like, I, I just remember like those kids got pretty old by the end of the show. Right. Right um so the only other trivia bit i have is this movie was filmed in the same location as the 1991 film toy soldiers that doesn't make okay. sense i think i think that should say toys because toy soldiers is a different movie yeah I think, I think the imdb trivia is wrong let's see here toys what year did toys come out no there was a there was a movie what was that guy's name so like, toys had uh, Robin Williams. No, you're thinking of toys that no, there was something called Toy Soldiers. Oh no, you're right. Out, right, you're right. It came I, out and it was it was basically similar to that. It was a a group of kids in a like a uh, a, a compound kind of like that that they had to either defend it or take over it or something. Yeah, it's, it's got like, uh, Lewis Gossett Jr. Right. Okay. All right, well, look at you, Ira. Look at you with that, that movie knowledge. Look at you. <laughs> Before we go, just real quick. Um, speaking of my wife and kids, there is this debate going on on Twitter right now. Uh, you taking uh, Tisha Campbell on my wife and kids, or are you taking her on Martin? We're not talking about looks or anything like that. We're talking about acting, comedy. Which one did, did she do best on, Martin or my wife and kids? So I'll say this. Um my mom watched our daughter uh the first eight months of her life and so my mom like uh i i, I was around because i worked from home and my mom was nearby and she rewatched all of martin and so mm-hmm. like i was like listening in on some of those episodes and it's like the things that she got to do on that show i don't think she got to do all the same things as she did on uh my wife and kids because like she sang a lot on martin and you know she comes from like a a stage background right 
And so I don't think that she got to actually do a lot of singing on my wife and kids, but she did a lot more than you would think that she did on Martin. And so like, I feel like she really got the show off a lot of her talents until things went a little topsy turvy. Mm -hmm. So my, my pick would be Martin. So, Hey, I got a question. Mm -hmm. So aren't they, they're supposed to have like a reboot of Martin and all of the original cast is going to come back and, and sit around and talk about that. How's that going to work? I mean, her Uh, and um, Martin Lawrence have buried the hatchet. If that's what you're talking about. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah. I mean, it was a big, big blow up. It's um, to, after to, it killed, it's basically out. killed the show and killed Martin for a long time. Um, I, so after Tisha Campbell got divorced, he reached out to her, and that's when they kind of made uh, made amends. You know, you know that don't sound right, right? After she got divorced, he reached out. They made amends. Mm-hmm. It doesn't really sound right. I mean, like, it was like 30 years later, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, she's single now. Okay, let me reach out. Okay, every, we all cool now. Well, no, uh, it was stuff It was stuff about her husband um, dealing with the stuff that, like, that played a part into it. And, yeah, because like, weren't, they, weren't, the they they, show, weren't they together you, at the time? Who? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, no. Who? No, so I'm talking about D- D- her and Dwayne. They were together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Um, I don't know the details, but there was something about he played a part with the friction and everything on that show. So it makes sense that all right, she with her husband, blah blah. I ain't gonna mess with her, but okay, now she's not messing with him now. Okay, hey, reach out. Hey, whatever, whatever. It makes sense. Okay. And whether they made a, a connection of some sort. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. But yeah. I mean, they did. They're doing the same thing. They did the same thing with Fresh Prince. Um, I mean, that's, they had their they had their reunion show and everything too. That's a little different, though. Well, yeah, and they did, and they they had different people, right? I mean, the, the remake of the Fresh Prince is not the same original cast. No, 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 no. But go ahead, Shay. No, I was just gonna say they did like a reunion show where okay. it wasn't they're like real. anything that they filmed, like. It, they filmed they were themselves they weren't the characters and they were just like well, did they, i remember did, blah, blah, did they bring back the original no they did not she okay did not so they back. didn't so they didn't no she it. she she was on she it. did she, 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 yeah, yeah, the, was on after, it. after he made up with her though right? the original one yeah no when they when they did the reunion special they had the original aunt viv there too uh, did okay. they have both aunt vivs they didn't yeah. they they weren't in the same they were not occupying the same space okay but they were both on it yeah, on, on the show, yeah. Yeah, on the reunion, yeah. And yeah, then I mean, the made reunion. up with her. How you gonna make up with me after you didn't cost me however many millions of dollars? You Look, can't make up with you, me. You, 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 see, did. that's the thing. You got you got to wait 20 plus years. Right. But they did make up. You yeah, can't it, make up with me. You got a check? Maybe they gave her a check. You know they what? Made up. And I don't believe she worked in anything else. That'd be a good good IMDb BD. She probably did a stage stuff because she had a stage background also. I don't remember seeing her in anything. I mean, she may have, and if it was, it was very small considering who knows what she was making, $100,000, $200,000 an episode? Well, she had a a stage background, so she probably, you know, fell back to that. Let me see. Stage, sitcom once a week, a couple hundred thousand dollars an episode. But it's better than no money. But you, you're gonna be hard pressed to make up with me. <laughs> um, let's see. She did some episodes of General Hospital, okay, yeah, One Life uh-huh. to Live. Woo. Um, <clears throat> nothing really of note since okay. her Fresh Prince time. Like she was on TV. I I genuinely think she was probably just doing stage stuff and just like just paying the bills, not living it up. Okay, so again. Hard pressed to make up for that. But also, she still would get residuals from the reruns that she was on. Right. But she was what, maybe the first season or two? So, with Fresh Prince, that show lasted six seasons, and both Aunt Vivian's had three seasons. Hmm. So, it's split, da- split down the middle. You're not making me happy, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, I I, I didn't have friction with the woman. You were supposed to get, yeah, okay. Hey, she getting some of that money, all right. And it could be argued that her three seasons were better than the last three seasons. I Ooh. liked her, so. But hey, I just curious. I mean, I'm sorry. I just no, you good, you good. Don't worry. I'm gonna cut all this. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, we want to thank you guys for coming on. Uh, it's been a long time coming. You graduated from the comments to the actual show. So look at you. And, and we might, uh, we, we need to get you to plug us. So how much do we need to send you? <laughs> um, I, uh, Matt, uh, Matt, Matt, Matt can handle that. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about, we'll talk about this offline. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, we don't need to let these people know how much we're making off this show. Right, okay. right, right, right. Um, anything else we want to uh, touch on before we roll out, Matt? Uh, no, thank you again for you guys both being on. I appreciate it. I'm glad I miss y'all. And I'll see y'all in a couple of years. We miss you too. <laughs> see you in a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys so much. And thank you so much for listening. Please rate, like, and review our podcast on your platform of choice. If you have any feedback, please email us at we used to talk pod at gmail.com. Like our Facebook page, we used to talk about this at work. And follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at we used to talk pod. And like always, I don't know if this was a good episode. I don't know if it was a bad episode. But whatever you think about it, talk about it at work. Thank you for listening. <laughs>